Welcome back. We are going to speak today about relational database. In this lesson, you will learn and understand the different database services in AWS Cloud, and you will discover the differences between unmanaged and managed database solution. Then we will understand the difference between structured query language and NoSQL database. Then we will compare the availability differences of alternative database solution. In AWS, you can have two types of category of database system whether you choose unmanaged or managed services in unmanaged services you will be responsible for scaling fault tolerance and availability of the database system in managed services scaling fault tolerance and availability are typically built in into the services or we call them a platform as a service so let us look to the challenges of running a relational database system on a premises data center when you run your own relational database you are responsible for several administrative tasks such as server maintenance software installation and patching database backups you are also responsible for ensuring high availability and the planning for scalability the data security and operating system on installation and patching all of these tasks is your responsibility amazon rds is a managed service that sets up and operates a relational database in the cloud you may Manage the application optimization and AWS manages the OS installation and the patches, database software installation and patches, database backup, high availability, scaling the power and racking and stacking of the servers and the server maintenance. In AWS RDS, you have multiple options to create a database instance. Your database instance is an isolated database environment that can contain multiple user created database. It can be accessed by using the same tools and application that you use with a standalone database instances. The resources in a database instance are determined by its database instance class and the type of storage is dedicated for your database instance. Database instances and storage differ in performance characteristics and the pricing model of them, which enable you to customize your performance and cost to the needs of your database. When you choose to create a database instance you must first specify which database engine to run amazon rds currently support six databases engine mysql amazon aurora microsoft sql server postgres mariadb and oracle database you can create in rds a highly available database multi-az deployment one of the most powerful features of amazon rds is the ability to configure your database instance for high availability with a multi-az deployment. After multi-AZ deployment is configured, Amazon RDS automatically generates a standby copy of the database instance in another availability zone within the same VPC. After seeding the database copy, transactions are synchronously replicated to the standby copy. Running a database instance in multi-AZ deployment can enhance the availability during planned system maintenance and it can help protect your database against database instance failure and availability zone disruption. It is very important to understand when we need to use and when we don't need to use an RDS. You use Amazon RDS when your application requires a complex transaction or a complex query, which means it's dealing with a structured query language with a relational database system where there is relationship between entities. When you have a medium to high query or write rate up to 30,000 or 15,000 reads plus 15,000 writes. When you have more than one single worker node or shard, you are not using shard. In this case, you can use RDS. If you are using shard, then you have to go and install your own database system. And when high durability is a must in your application. You don't use Amazon RDS when your application requires a massive read or write, for example, 150,000 writes per second. When sharding is mandatory in your application because you have to use your own sharding technique with your database system. When you need to deal with your data using a simple get or pot request and it queries the data with no SQL database system or a relational database management system which is a very customized. So if you have a customized version of a database engine that you need to install in this case you have to go and install your own database system. Now let us look into lab 5. In lab 5 we are going 
going to learn how we can create and build our DB server and then we will launch and configure a web application to interact with the DB server. So the lab tasks are you create a VPC, then you create a DB subnet, then you create an Amazon RDS DB instance. The final product of the lab will look to the following diagram that you can see here in this video. Now the full solution for this lab is also can be seen in the demo. Amazon Aurora is another product of AWS. So what is Amazon Aurora? Amazon Aurora is a MySQL and Postgres SQL compatible relational database that is built for the cloud. It combines the performance and availability of high-end commercial databases with the simplicity and cost effectiveness of open source database. You can use Amazon Aurora to reduce your database cost while improving the reliability and availability of the database. As a fully managed service, Aurora is designed to automate time-consuming tasks like provisioning, patching, backup, recovery, failure detection, and repair. Amazon Aurora has several features. In Amazon Aurora is a highly scalable performance and cost-effective managed relational database. Aurora offers a distributed high-performance storage subsystem. Using Amazon Aurora can reduce your database cost while improving the reliability of the database. Aurora is also designed to be highly available. It has fault-tolerant and self-healing storage built for the cloud. Aurora replicates multiple copies of your data across multiple availability zones and it continuously backs up your data to Amazon S3. In Amazon Aurora, you have multiple levels of security which are available, including network isolation, your own Amazon VPC, encryption for the data at rest by using keys that you create and control through AWS Key Management Service, and you can also encrypt the data in transit by using a secure socket layer. Amazon Aurora database engine is compatible with existing MySQL and Postgres open source database and adds compatibility for new releases in a regular basis. Amazon Aurora is a fully managed by Amazon RDS. Aurora automates database management tasks such as hardware provisioning, software patching, setup, configuration, or backup of the database. Now let us look to Amazon DynamoDB. In Amazon DynamoDB, which is a NoSQL database, so what is the difference between relational and non-relational databases? A relational database, RDS, works with structured data that is organized by table, records, and columns. RDS establish a well-defined relationship between database table, like a teacher teaches many students, a student are taught by one teacher. We use normally a structured query language to query the database, which is the standard user application and to provide a programming interface for the data. With relational database, you might have difficulty scaling out horizontally or working with semi-structured data, which means you have to think about a non-relational database. A non-relational database is any database that does not follow the relational model that is provisioned by a traditional relational database management system. Non-relational database have grown in popularity because they were designed to overcome the limitation of relational database for handling the demand of variable structured data. Non-relational database scales out horizontally and they can work with unstructured and semi-structured data. In Amazon DynamoDB, we can create a flexible and fast, highly scalable with virtually unlimited storage where item can have differing attribute with low latency querying where you have the ability to scale the read and write through. The core component of DynamoDB are tables, items, and attributes. Items are a group of attributes that is uniquely identifiable among all other items. Attributes are fundamental data element, something that does not need to be broken down any further. DynamoDB support two different kinds of primary keys. The partition key, which is a simple primary key, which is composed of one attribute called the sort key, and the partition key and the sort key are also known as composite primary key, which is composed of two attributes. Now let us look to Amazon Redshift. Amazon Redshift is a fast, fully managed data warehousing that makes it simple and cost effective to analyze all your data by using standard SQL and your existing business intelligence tool. Analytics is important for business today. Building a data warehousing is a complex and expensive. Data warehouses can take months and significant financial resources to set up. With Amazon Redshift, it's a fast 
fast and powerful fully managed data warehousing that is simple and cost effective to set up, use, and scale. It enables you to run complex analytics query against petabyte of structured data by using sophisticated query optimization, columnar storage on high performance local disk, and massively parallel data processing. Most results come back in second. Amazon Redshift contains two types of node. We have the leader node, which manages communication with the client programs and all communication with compute nodes. The compute nodes parse and develop the plans to carry out database operations, specifically the series of steps that are needed to be obtained the result of a complex queries. The leader node compiles code for individual elements of the plan and assigns the code to individual compute nodes. Compute nodes run the compiled code and send an intermediate results back to the leader node for final aggregation. Like other AWS services, you only pay for what you use. You can get started for as little as 25 cents per hour. And at scale, Amazon Redshift can deliver storage and processing of approximately $1,000 per terabyte per year. So Amazon Redshift is a fast, fully managed data warehousing service, easily scale with no downtime. It supports columnar storage and parallel processing architecture and automatically and continuously monitor cluster and decryption is a built-in feature thank you for seeing this video and see you in the next one